Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Our topic today is about three motor starters, control circuit with one stop start button, and uh, two motor is automatically run with the uh, timer on delay. So I will show you the control circuit diagram, the schematic diagram, and then we are going to wire the control circuit. All right. This Omron terminal connection, this Omron model is uh, Omron model 83CR A8E. This is our model of this timer. So this is our, uh, this is 8 pin, this is our terminal. 1, 2, terminal 3, terminal 4, terminal 5, terminal 6, terminal 7, terminal 8. So we have 8 pin. 8 pin terminal, this you can see this one here. This one there is last. So when you plug in, you cannot get mistake. And this is our 2 and 7, our source. Source means our supply. The supply is, you can uh, supply 110 volts to 240 volts alternating current AC 7 and um, we're gonna use uh, 8 is common and 6 is our normally open so for now we don't use we use this normally open on delay only we don't use the normally close for now so uh, our this our Three motor starters control circuit. This is our uh, schematic diagram. And uh, stop start. This is our stop start. Then we have two timers on delay. This is our timers one, timers two on delay. So this is our, we have three motors starter. This is our motor M1, magnetic contactor number two, M2, that means motor number two. It's a magnetic contactor number three. It's our motor number three. When you press start button, this M1 energize because this is a holding contact for M1. This uh, normally open auxiliary contact for M1 energize when you press start. And when this one start, the timer both together energize after five seconds the motor is running five seconds this one is five seconds on delay the pump two is energized the motor number two magnetic contactor number two and the timer number two relay is energized also after five seconds on delay motor magnetic contactor three is energized also and the motor is run and uh, we have three uh, contactor that's why we have uh, we use three overload that's overload for motor one motor load over two motor overload for number three we're gonna use together all of this control circuit before we gonna wire we need to put the wire numbering para hindi tayo magkamali so that we easy uh. We need the wire number. This is uh, number one. Number one. This is our circuit number one. This is our circuit number one. Right? And uh, circuit number two here. Number two. Number two. Circuit number three. This is number three. All this number three, number three, right? So all of this here is we're gonna use neutral here. So neutral, we're gonna use neutral, neutral, neutral. But all this neutral, I use white wire and I connect already to so that. Uh, Re as reduce time for recording uh, we don't take too long I, I connect already all the neutral so we're gonna connect all it for the control circuit and uh, the next here is um, timer on delay 
Number one is we're gonna put three, so we're gonna put four. So here four. Number four wire. And then so here is number five. We are done. Now we're gonna install now over there. Before we're gonna start, I will show you the neutral first. Our neutral here. Over there is uh, going to 96, is 96, 95, 96. I connect already. And then 95 going to uh, A2, M1. Connect to timer, M2. It's, we're gonna use this timer. Take out this timer first. Okay. But, uh, you can see. Right? Uh, A2 connected to number 7 to number 7 uh, timer here number 2 timer and then timer going to A2 M2 95 is here and then going to M2 so neutral going to timer here 2 7 terminal 7 for timer T timer number 2 T2 here connected to 95 then going to 95 to a2. So our neutral is connected already to now uh, and uh, line one now we are going to line one. Line one is connect to stop button one and timer A8. So I connect this one here. See we have wire here. Number one line one connect to T8 here T8 I connect already and jumper to 8 terminal uh, 8 for T2 here I jump so I finish here now we're going to connect to stop button to here and for here saving time now right line 1 going to stop button next is uh, I connect already and then the next number two wire we, we need two wire one to the start button and one to normally open right okay i connect two wire number two okay i connect two wire to start button one is going to start number two here i put number two jumper Okay, I got jumper already to start button. Is number two going to going to M1 normally open of silicon contact? We're gonna put here. Okay, so we are we are done here. Outside of this uh, M3 and start uh, button, we're gonna put two wire. Here M1 normally open, right? I start number three okay and going to M3 going to A2 so I need two wire I need one more jumper going to A1 two wire so now this one jumper going to M1 okay but I need one wire jump to the timer T1 wire number three to terminal number seven so i need one more wire this number three together to two wire to the a1 here so a1 going to terminal seven timer number one all right okay going back here we need to terminal seven t1 here our terminal seven here timer and I connect there our supply for the timer okay now we need to we are done here this already connected and already connected here E1 already here so now this terminal number 6 going to M2 okay terminal 6 is here terminal 6 for timer okay four 
going to I need one wire jumper to Tito. So I need two wire here. Okay, Tito. Now Tito, I got I put two wire, one wire going to TR2. This is our terminal number seven here for our timer. Put the button here. I'm gonna put here. Okay, so done. So this one here connect already here to here to finish one more this um, T2 normally open on delay number terminal number six we need number five wire going to M3 then we are done number five going to T6 terminal number six on normally open okay going to a1 m3 m3 a1 all right so connection is done uh, i will explain to you this one here our m1 i just i connect already to wire just for you can see that this one is energized m1 energized m2 energized m3 i connect already this one for example, this is our motor M1, motor M2, motor M3. I connect supply from here. For example, this is our breaker. This is our motor. So I connect already. That's why there's a wire here, here, and here. To the contactor, this is our motor, for example. I connect already. Right? Okay. So, connection is done. We're going to try now. Now we're going to try. Turn on the power. This our motor supply, for example, motor supply, jumper, jumper. This our control circuit. I don't connect the control circuit because I follow only that. This is seconds here. You can see this seconds. You have to put in mode, mode A, and this one here. This adjustment for. If you can see here, this adjustment for now if we put in seconds this when you turn now is minutes when you turn is in hours when you turn more going to 10 hours when you turn more back to seconds this hour we need five seconds only and this our timer this dial timer see this is dial timer i put five seconds dial timer and this one here this terminal here this is for adjustment for the time see now is 0.3 less seconds this is 0.5 so that's mean 0.5 seconds only too short so we need uh, this is 2 4 6 8 10 12 until 12 seconds maximum so we'll put two seconds too short so we have to put in 5 10 15 20 25 30 30 40 that's uh, 30 this uh, seconds only so you can put in 30 seconds maximum so you need only five seconds all right same another one we'll set on up and this one also i did already same one i show you same model so i have to plug in all right okay now i turn on start button m1 energize TR1 is counting after 5 seconds pump to energize after 5 seconds timer energize is pump 3 energize so stop one more time when you stop all of them stop all of them so start again we're gonna see one more time so our M1 energize well energize the timer is energized because that one here when you start together and then time on delay start m2 after five seconds start this one too that's the way 
it's automatic control circuit. Now uh, when this, I show you, I don't connect the overload light. I don't connect the power circuit because only that I follow. So let's say uh, when the pump one and uh, stop, all of them stop and you have to start again because the because all the motor start because that's synchronizing it the connect together that's uh overload connection there but when you stop button one here only these two stop and when you reset all right you see when this overload two only to overload because that one is power came here so when you reset when you reset here this one energize it's timing then it start again all right but when this one three overload all stop but when you reset and it start again one by one that's all that's all very easy my friend all right you gotta watch okay that's all that's all my friend that's very easy there's three motor control the stop button and three two timers on delay that's all our connections done try and learn practice that's all my friend bye bye have a great day